This is George Melnik Automotive. I'm working in a 2010 Subaru Impreza WRX. Um, the problem that I'm having is my check engine light came on and obviously then you have a traction light coming on and you have your cruise that's flashing. So I went ahead and uh, plugged in my OBD2, my scan tool and I was able to retrieve a code that I uh, that I have here in the car and I'm going to share this with you you might have the same thing this car has MagnaFlow exhaust but that has nothing to do with it at first I thought maybe it was part of the problem but it was but it was not so the code that I retrieved is P2097 it's a post catalyst fuel trim system two rich bank one um, basically my uh, fuel my average miles per gallon as you could see I'm only averaging 17.4 and that dramatically dropped all right I should be closer to 20 19 but I didn't notice anything like there's no hesitation there's no lack of power but um, blowing through gas real quickly so basically what that means um, that we have it could be a couple things, but in my case, uh, there's an oxygen sensor. It, there's the one that's towards, it's towards middle of the car on the bottom. And I'm going to show you once I replace it, what it looks like. So I went ahead and ordered a new sensor. I replaced it. I'm going to show you where it's located and um, so you get an idea where it's at. And then we're going to go ahead and clear the codes. And I'm This is what's failed. That's the reason I got that code. So I went ahead and... Um, replaced it. I'm going to clear my codes right now. I'm going to drive it for another 200 miles and I'll see how much my gas mileage will improve. I went ahead and cleared the codes. I'm going to start the car. Look at my dash. Make sure there's no lights. See what happens. All right, perfect. As you can see, everything is everything is cleared. What I'm going to do right now, I'm going to reset my trip to zero. I'll drive the car for a couple days and I'll give you an update, let you know if it fixed the problem. And hopefully my average miles per gallon improve. I just cleared it so it's zero, zero. And we'll see if we can do a little better than 17. Everybody, I'm going to call this confirmed repair. I'm not going to drive you know 150 200 miles the reason why as you could see I I'm averaging 23.4 miles a gallon average and I just drove 16.4 miles on trip B okay um, I saw a dramatic increase in my miles per gallon average even if I switch over to my trip A and that also should have climbed this car should have never been um, running at 17 and a half miles per gallon so let's go back to trip a so it's 213 miles and as you could see take a look at my screen I'm already averaging 20.1 miles a gallon on trip a and I was 17 and a half so you could see that it it definitely went right up so I'm gonna call this confirm repair um, and like I said in my case it was the rear oxygen sensor and um, this issue also can be caused by many other things. Um, it could be also caused by bad fuel injector if it's dumping fuel. Um, but normally that could also cause like a misfire code or, and things like that. Um, it, it also could be caused by bad uh, air fuel mixture sensor, which is up front. And it could also be caused by mass airflow sensor. It could also be caused by exhaust leak. Um, but like I said, uh, a lot of times guys uh, run like a fuel injector cleaner and stuff like that and that apparently fixes the issue but in, in my career as many times as I've been repairing cars I've never been that lucky just like running some kind of fuel cleaner and that would fix the problem it would probably fix it but very temporarily um, in my case it was always uh, something else so I just want to let you know guys that that's what it was in my case once again thanks for watching this was George with Melnick Automotive if you have any questions shoot me an email or leave your comment below uh, hit a like if this video helped you out otherwise thanks for watching have a great day